go over the statement and we'll take questions. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, no words can describe how difficult it is to, uh, you know, come off that field uh, with a loss. You know, certainly a hard-fought battle. Uh, two very good football teams uh, went at it. And I give uh, Toledo credit. We knew they were a good football team. Their third quarter uh, effort, you know, was really the, the difference in the game. Uh, you know, I thought their running back flew well and uh, ran well. Uh, they have a very good, talented uh, uh, returner in Bernard Reedy that I thought our kids and our game plan was was perfect. You know, it held them to uh, very little uh, out there for him to do. Um, you know, we saw a couple turnovers that was uh, huge in the game for us. To be able to get that going in our direction was big. You know, we just weren't able to complete the mission tonight and, you know, it was very difficult. Um, you know, loss, and uh, I was real proud of the way our kids uh, fought. And uh, there's a lot of kids out there playing their tail ends off in some tough conditions. But you know, there wasn't anybody that wanted to win more than you know me, the coaching staff, and those players. Uh, so you know, we knew Toledo was a good team. Uh, just disappointed that we weren't able to uh, get this victory tonight. Questions. Jeff, what, what changed in the third quarter, do you think, the, whether it was what Toledo did or what you guys were doing, what, what changed? The game seemed to change on that. Yeah, they were hitting some inside uh, you know, zone plays that were finding some cracks and some seams and creases in there that you know, we had done a nice job of constricting you know, early in the game and really throughout the first half. Um, you know, give them credit for you know, uh, getting uh, after us pretty good. You know, we took the, the win. You know, in the third quarter, and I thought you know that was a big uh, decision going into that second half. We want to put them into the win and try to get a big stop like we did last week, and you know get some good field position and and, and try to get uh, you know a score in that third quarter. And it just obviously you know didn't happen that way for them. To score 18 points to our zero in the third quarter was was the big difference uh, for them to turn around. But there wasn't anything specific. You know, from that standpoint, they just, you know, they found some, some cracks and some seams, and we weren't able to close those uh, areas up. The QB switch because you felt you needed to try to get some pass game going? Well, I think it was, um, you know, Alex was a little shook up a little bit, and, um, you know, we felt that was also part of it, and it worked out great, you know, to get Joe in there, um, you know, watching him. Uh, command the offense. It was right in the beginning of the fourth quarter, be able to put that score in there. You know, we did a nice job with him. But yeah, that was, you know, there was, it was kind of twofold. One was, you know, Zordich was a little shook up, you know, and we felt like, uh, you know, we needed to get Joe in there, you know, because Alex wasn't able to go. No, nah, I think he just needed some time. I mean, maybe he could have came in there, but no, you know, at that point we were, we were moving on with Joe. Uh, but that's, you know, he was a little shook up. At that point in the game, Coach it's Bo's first game in over a month. Uh, just talk a little bit about his effort. Yeah, well, you know, Bo's efforts never been questioned uh, by anybody. Bo was a tremendous player. Um, it was a nice spark to have him back in there. You know, you saw him, um, you know, really uh, hit some nice, uh, some nice runs. You know, and the other thing that you don't see is some of the blocking that he does, and uh, that's that's kind of. You know, our kids were excited about having one of their, you know, one of their teammates back. You know, he's, he's a very responsible young man, a great teammate. And, you know, there's nobody that wanted to get back in there and show what he's, uh, what he's all about than Bo. And he had another 100-yard day, you know, and with 24 carries. So I was real proud of his effort tonight. Still finding that second receiver to stop the pump alongside Alex Dude seems to be a problem. He's the only guy with over one catch today. Well, you know, it was interesting because, uh, you know, we felt there were some some things there that Alex gave us. You know, but you know, certainly, uh, you know, Fred caught a pass. You know, Cordero caught a pass. You know, some of those early throws weren't really on the mark at times. You know, which we could have certainly changed a little bit of the outcome uh, of some of the catches uh, from that standpoint. But you know, we 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 have who we have, and you know, we're very blessed to have these young men that are continuously competing, fighting, and doing everything they can. Um, you know, to be able to uh, get ourselves in a one-possession game with Toledo, um, you know, a lot of people might not have gave us a whole lot of 
uh, opportunity to do that. But I knew deep down inside our football team was ready to compete tonight and play. Uh, Coach, you said earlier in the week that you were going to uh, find a way to you know, keep Devin Campbell in the mix with Bo coming back. Uh, that pass from Zordich to Campbell for the touchdown. Um, is that something that you're going to focus more on doing with Devin, having him run more routes or – yeah, you know, Devin a, a, has tremendous ball skills. You know, he can catch the ball, he can run the ball. Uh, we saw him on kickoff return a little bit. Uh, you know, he can do the punt returning. You know, he's a very talented young man. But, you know, we really wanted to, to, to see where Brandon was. He was, you know, you could tell he was feeling it, you know, even late in the game. You know, when he started hitting it up inside there, you know, there was a good feel uh, to our offensive line and Bo. You know, there was a presence of him out there. Uh, but I feel, you know, Devin's, you know, was an outstanding player, and that was a big play in the game that really lifted us. Um, you know, he's got those capabilities, and we're going to continue devising plays and ways to get, the, you know, all of our playmakers the ball in their hands so they can put us in some scoring position, and Devin did that tonight. You guys have obviously been starving for turnovers, and then you get the, you know, not only the pick, but the pick six to start things out. What were your thoughts at that? Time. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, well overdue. You know, I was very pleased to see, and it was an opportunistic moment for Courtney Lester, you know, and to be able to, you know, to convert it not only as a turnover but to take it in for the score was just a great lift for our team. You know, it was disappointing that we gave it right back to them, you know, because we fumbled and uh, they picked it up and returned it from their end. And those are the little things. You know, we're going to look back at this game. And as I said to the team, you know, you're going to look back at some of these plays and some of these moments in the game tonight because uh, we played extremely well. We played well enough to win a football game, but we also had moments in the game where we didn't. And that's, you know, against good competition. Listen, we played the four best teams in the MAC already. Okay, we played the four best. And, you know, we, we feel a lot better about our football team. They're very disappointed. They're hurt. But uh, they know that they can, you know, I asked them to dig deep and go to a place they haven't been in a long time, you know, and they were there tonight at moments. And I feel, you know, absolutely proud of the, the way those kids are fighting and competing. And now what we have to do is continue building on it. We've got a handful of games left, and it's, uh, it's important for us to understand where we are and what we need to do to get a W under our belts because you're right, it's been way too long. These kids have worked too hard. Our coaches have. And, uh, and that's all that's on my mind right now. What was the deal with Lester the rest of the way? Yeah, you know, again, he, he got shook up a little bit in the game. Uh, you know, so we had the services of Marcus Baker, you know, went in there, did a nice job. Carlos Lehmans, uh, you know, those guys did a great job. I mean, we blocked a couple extra points in that game too tonight. I mean, just, you know, they might have put those points on the board as touchdowns, but our kids were competing the very next play. You know, and we saw Carlos come up with a big, uh, you know, uh, you know, return after that, and it was kind of, it was good to see those other kids have an opportunity to get in there and show that they were ready to compete and play. And Marcus Baker stepped in really nice for us for Courtney. The last full drive, you had Jeff, and, you know, Bo started ripping off some yardage there, and then then you you went to the area, you had an incompletion, the minus three on the on the pass the ball in the, in the incompletion. If you look back on that, is that something where you think you know maybe we should just kept pounding it? Uh, you know, there's. You know, certainly, uh, sure it is. You know, and I mean, I felt good about where we were with our offense at that point. And you know, that's not how those plays are designed. And you know, you, you know, you're feeling good about you know running the ball. You feel good about throwing the ball. You feel good about your, you know, all the, the all the schemes and all the facets of your offense. You know, and and it was just something Alex Wood and myself felt that's where we were heading at that moment. Looking back at it. I wish we would have ran the ball, <laughs> absolutely. But, you know, you, you can't take those plays back. But, you know, I felt good the way our offense uh, at times was, was clicking, you know, and I feel good about where we are with getting Bo back and Nuts and Fred Lee, and that's a big plus. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how we come out of this one, um, you know, in terms of health-wise and be able to, you know, make sure that we build on it and uh, our kids uh, stay inspired and, and ready to play against Miami.